Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez with the City Communications Office and this is the Weekly Report. And here are the top three things you should know this week. If you would like to get signed up for the COVID-19 vaccination, go to our website at kcmo.gov slash coronavirus. There you'll find a survey form. It's online. Just fill it out, give us your information, and then we'll let you know when the vaccine is available for your priority group. Hi, I'm Michelle Pekarski with the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department. If you're a Kansas City resident and you want to receive a COVID vaccine, I want to direct you to an important form on the kcmo.gov website. It's the COVID-19 vaccination contact form. It's available in English and in Spanish. I will tell you how to get to it in just a moment, but first about the form. Once you submit the form, your name and contact information will go into our database. Based on your occupation or your age or your health risks, you will be put into your appropriate priority group. When we have open appointments for vaccinations, we will seek to contact residents in these high priority groups to schedule an appointment. The email you receive will likely look and say something like this and provide instructions and a job form link to register for your appointment. Registration is first come, first served and when all the slots are full, the registration will close. We have already been scheduling and vaccinating healthcare providers and others in the first priority tiers. So there are several ways to find the form. You can type in kcmo.gov slash vaccine survey and it will take you directly to the form in English. Or at the top of the kcmo.gov homepage, whether on desktop or mobile, there are bullet points to help you navigate to some of the most read or most recent items from the city. I encourage you to read all of them, but the one I need you to go to for the form is this one, kcmo.gov slash coronavirus. Once you tap or click on it, you are inside the Kansas City COVID-19 Information Center. The COVID-19 vaccination contact form is right there in the box for easy navigation, or you can scroll down and find it and more vaccine information here in the vaccine information form box. If you do not have a computer or phone to fill out the form, we are happy to help. Please call 311 or 513-1313. When prompted, press three and then one. Someone will take your information and call you back to assist you in filling out the form. We thank you for your patience. We have received hundreds of calls and it will take some time to call back everyone who has left a message. Day by day, the COVID vaccination is getting into the arms of the people identified as high priority. However, with vaccination supplies so limited, it's not going to happen as quickly as we all wish it could. We know many of you are so eager to get the vaccine and we do ask you to be patient because supplies are so limited right now. In the meantime, while you wait your turn, please fill out the form. We will contact you about priority clinics or about community clinics that will be upcoming as supplies increase. Thank you. Does your small business need help due to unexpected costs because of COVID? KC BizCare can help. Hello, Kansas City. My name is Nia Richardson. I work with the City of Kansas City. If you're not familiar with KC BizCare, we provide free customer service and technical assistance for residents who are looking to start a business or for businesses who are looking to do business in Kansas City. PPP Prep is the Paycheck Protection Program preparation uh, for black and minority owned businesses in Kansas City who are looking to go after the loans. Paycheck Protection Program is a program that was put through the CARES Act to help support small businesses during COVID-19. So it's a relief grant or a relief loan. Uh, that is potentially forgivable if you utilize it a certain way. And what we found is that if you utilize 60% or more of the loan dollars on payroll, it could be forgiven. Collectively, we come together and we created an intake form, but through that intake form, we're gonna ask you some specific questions that will allow you or allow us to curate a checklist based on the questions that you've answered. So within that checklist, you'll have a guide, the application for which draw you need to do, because there's a first and a second draw, depending on if you've ever had a loan before with, through PPP or if you're coming to get another loan through PPP. We are, through that checklist, you'll get a detailed information of what you need to fill out, what you need to have prepared, 
If you need further assistance through an accountant or bookkeeper because you don't have one on hand, the partnership is there to help assist you with that. So we'll partner you, partner you with an accountant, go through the checklist for you, and by the end of it, you should be prepared to submit your application to any of the SBA approved lenders for the PPP program. The city of Kansas City continues to celebrate the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with upgrades to this park, which is named after him. And the city of Champions is getting some help from Kansas City's biggest celebrity. The 15 and Mahomes Foundation is providing support to transform this park into an all-inclusive play space. The city took part in the National Day of Remembrance for those who have lost their lives due to the COVID pandemic. Buildings across the city, including City Hall and the Sky Station sculpture above our convention center, were lit in amber. A special ceremony was held at the Liberty Memorial with flags to represent local victims. Tonight we mourn together with communities across the country. In the National Day of Unity and Remembrance. We come here tonight recognizing that we have lost 400,000 Americans. Around us here, there's 1,665 flags in the ground, one for each Kansas Cityan whose life was lost due to COVID-19. I want you all to look at every single flag tonight and know that that was a life here in Kansas City. Let us honor our frontline workers. Thank you to the brave first responders, police officers, firefighters, nurses, doctors, essential hospital staff. Thank you to those who care for our seniors and our veterans. Thank you to the seamstresses who made masks at a time when masks were scarce. We appreciate the hard work of our teachers, professors, and child care providers. Thank you to our bus drivers, grocery store workers, and delivery service providers who kept our society moving when the rest of us were at a standstill. Thank you to our janitorial staff members, factory workers, and construction teams who continue to support us every day. If you would like to stay informed about the latest city news and events, just go to our website and sign up for emails that will come directly to your inbox. You can also learn more by reading Casey Moore, the city magazine we publish each spring and fall. It comes to your mailbox and is always available online 24-7 at kcmo.gov. Plus, Alert KC will send you text alerts with weather warnings, public meetings information, and more. Just text your phone number to 888 777. We want to make it easy for you to receive information the way you want it so that you can stay in the know. That's the weekly report. I'm Chris Hernandez with the City Communications Office. Stay tuned for some more great information and videos coming your way and be sure to keep masking up Kansas City. Stay safe. Today we're out at Swope Park doing a socially distanced litter cleanup. It's a great way to come out and give back and honor Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy by serving the community and coming together. It's really important that we're out here today in Swope Park. A lot of people know about the segregated history of the park, the challenges that it faced in the past. By coming together, by serving together in the park, we really help to move things forward um, and to continue to really reflect what Dr. King's dream was. A frequent refrain is, don't make this be a day off, make it be a day on. So today you can see more than 20 volunteers out here at Swope Park to go around and pick up some litter and rubbish. And, and that's a, a fitting tribute to one of the things that Dr. King stood for, helping the community, being part of the community. So that's why I'm out here and also reflect back on my time here in Kansas City I've been here ever since I was six years old. So some of the uh, systemic discrimination, some of the covert and overt discrimination that was experienced uh, historically, I, I was a part of it. I was six years old in 54, so I can remember Swope Park not being welcoming to, to non-whites. As a matter of fact, blacks were relegated to go to what they call Shelter Five, frequently referred to as Watermelon Hill. And most blacks saw that as negative because it reinforced stereotypes about black people that all they 
could do be chinning and grinning and eat watermelon. So it was a negative stereotype. So it's taken a while to get from the, the overt and now it's the covert. Uh, still, we got a way to go, but it's a lot better than it was 50 years ago. We enjoy learning from one another, especially people like Johnny Lee, who is able to share stories with us about what it was like um, in post-segregation years to come to Swope Park and other places in the city um, that were just beginning to take that leap. It's good that many people, that, that over 80% of the people that have come out and participated in the program are white people. So it's not like, well, hey, that's only a holiday for black people. No, Dr. King was about everybody, poor workers, uh, uh, the underclass. So I'm out here to honor him and his legacy and also to be a reflection on my family. And hopefully other people will see this and they'll come out not just because it's a holiday, because Kelly basically does this all year round. I know that this has a lot of history in Kansas City, so it's a great day to be out here. We have the day off from work, so you know, like, even if I just commit two or three hours to doing this, I feel like I've made a difference, however how big or small. I wish more people would get involved because it's a great way to give back to your community. We all can suffer from litter and trash being in our parks and our neighborhoods. So this is saying, hey, get up, do something constructive, not destructive, which Dr. King was about. And, and again, we're working together in a civil manner. All this is reflective of Dr. King's legacy, one of the things he was about, and I'm proud to be part of it. We encourage anyone to come out and get involved. If, if you'd like to sign up to become a Parks Ambassador, uh, to volunteer three hours each month, all you have to do is go to caseyparks.org slash volunteering, uh, and there are several ways to get involved. But we have a lot of fun. We get in a lot of parks. You get to explore the city while giving back.